helpless victims. They have large eyes, able to pick up the slightest variations in light and shade above the water. Their survival often depends on this. When the kingfisher dives, it looks as if the tetra don't have time to avoid the attack. But a tiny involuntary reflex has saved this fish's life. These fish have a row of microscopic hairs that run from head to tail, specifically designed to register the tiniest vibrations or changes in water pressure. Any disturbance triggers a sudden startle reflex. If their eyes don't spot the predator, their lateral line will. The moment the tip of the kingfisher's beak enters the water, a wave of pressure spreads out. It's an unintentional alarm bell. The pressure wave hits the fish's lateral line and causes an involuntary reflex. The tetra's muscles contract instantly, moving it to one side. This tiny distance is sometimes just enough to defeat the kingfisher's precision attack. If the water is shallow, the kingfisher has a problem. Attack too slowly and the tetra may escape, but dive too fast and it'll hit the bottom. Kingfishers have a protective membrane that covers their eyes just as they enter the water. But this means they have to catch their prey blindfold. So they rely on sensitive hairs on their beak to tell them when to snap their bill shut. The birds dive with their short wings tucked behind them for speed. At the last moment, they open them right out and back. Now they're ready to push forward with all their strength. At the split second, they have the fish in their bill. This propels them back out of the water before they hit the bottom or their feathers get waterlogged. With such a precision killer at work, not many escape.